Hey guys, just wanted to show you what I've been working on. Um, this is going to be a board for another fellow YouTuber by the handle of Boogie2988. I don't know if any of you know who he is, but great guy, great person, has some really funny content, funny stuff, and also some very inspirational videos. Um, just all around great person. So what I've been doing in this spare time is I have been making a uh, certain circuit board for him. Um, and what I've done is what I don't know if you guys can tell but Boogie I know if you're hopefully you're watching this um, He uh, he enjoys Pac-Man. That's like his favorite uh, Gaming character and I don't know if you guys have been watching my feed and stuff But watch the stuff that I comment on and but I like gaming as well and anyway So this is basically going to be a Pac-Man <laughs> LED um, Basically a little trinket that's going to do um, some cool LED work and it's going to resemble uh, Pac-Man in all of his entirety. And so, Boogie, this is for you right now. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm putting uh, putting the, all the LEDs in. I've, I've got all the other IC solder on, soldered on. I'm doing this all by hand, which is kind of interesting, especially with the, the uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, see if you, it'll zoom in, with the 0603 parts on there. Uh, I don't have a microscope yet. I need to get one because uh, that makes this work a lot easier. But basically, I just wanted to show it off. I'll probably show another video. Um, I'll probably cut to another video. I won't let you guys watch me painfully solder all this. But um, <laughs> uh, actually, it's not that bad. I do it pretty quick. I've I've got lots of practice at it. Um, but I'm gonna I'll show you guys when it is uh, finished. I'll be back when it's finished. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. Well, I got this thing finally put together. Got it all soldered in and everything. Looks pretty good now, Mr. Boogie. I got this all put together for you. So we got all the ICs in, all the resistors in, and all the capacitors in, and our power connector. So there's our power connector. There's the five volt voltage regulator. I can't remember how high this goes. It might be 30 volts. So I can take 30 volts and regulate it down. Um, I've got the four shift registers, the little processor right there. It's a little PIC microcontroller. It's one of the 16F676s, um, and then of course we've got all of our current limiting resistors and everything that's everywhere, um, our wonderful little decoupling capacitors up above, and then of course right there we got the Boogie 2988 on the silk screen, so awesome, awesome deal. I've also, I've purchased with this, um, I'll end up building a special custom uh, acrylic-like case for it, is what I'm going to end up doing. Um, you guys, I'll show you the inventor file for that, but see, you basically have a little uh, battery holder. It's a little, if I can get it apart, holds a 9 volt, 9 volt battery, so you put a little battery in it. And then you got uh, a little switch, which is actually kind of slick. In fact, when I ordered this, I didn't know that, uh, that it had a little switch on. It's kind of cool. And it even has a little screw hole, so you can put a screw in it so that uh, it doesn't vibrate open if you don't think... If you, you know, if you think that's going to happen. So, um, anyway, all in all, pretty good little, pretty good little deal. So, basically, you'll take this and you'll plug it in here. Um, I'll see if I can do that. Hold on. I got to switch hands here. Trying to hold the camera with one hand and do this with the other is quite interesting. Now, I've gone ahead and written the software for this. I'll show that, too. Um, and I've uh, already programmed it, too. So, what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to see if I can't turn some light down because um, they are fairly bright, but I didn't buy any super bright LEDs. So you basically, let me get back from it. And there it goes. Hooray. I don't know if they can walk a walk a walk a. There it is. And it does a few other little things with the LEDs. Um, I couldn't write a ton of code because the compiler that I was using was actually a free version compiler So it limited me on how much code otherwise I'd, I'd have made it do a whole bunch of other things But there was one other thing I really really wanted it to do but it uh, Yeah, it didn't it didn't uh, it didn't let me compile anymore. So anyway um, Yeah, maybe if I end up buying that or whatever boogie I'll let you know and you can you can send it back to me and I'll, I'll recode it and put put uh, put more features on it, more things that it'll do, and then give it back to you. <laughs> well, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and on this, the rest of this video, I'll probably go ahead and attach. Um, I'll show you the design of it. Remember, this is fully custom made for uh, you, Mr. Boogie, Mr. Steve. Um, this is, uh, I did the entire board layout. 
uh, design um, and everything. And so this is uh, my way of saying thank you for being such a great person uh, for doing and for doing your channel, I enjoy your comedy. I enjoy uh, listening to what you think about uh, the different gaming platforms that are out right now, and whatnot. Being an electronics nerd and everything else, um, I'm into all that as well. So I really thank you a lot for everything. This is my way of saying thanks. My kids are running around all crazy. So take care, buddy. Um, I'll show you the rest of the video just in case if you're interested in uh, how this was made. And uh, thanks again for all the wonderful content and. Keep up the good work, man. I really enjoy you. You're a great person. You're a good inspiration to a lot of people. Uh, thanks again. What's up, guys? Well, welcome back on the computer side of things. Um, oh, I'm zoomed in. Oh, hello. Um, I was just going to go show the uh, kind of software and put together side of this, showing that uh, how I designed this little, little fun little trinket for uh, one great person. Um, this is the... I'm, I've... I've gotten a lot of fun out of this. I've been calling it my boogie board since it's for since it's for you, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. Um, I, I've been I've been calling it boogie board. I need I need to probably title this uh, boogie board because it's been actually pretty fun. But um, this is basically what it is. It consists of a microchip pick microcontroller. That's right here, and then it's got we've got uh, four. There's one, two, three, four um, serial to parallel converters, um, and then of course we've got all the LEDs. They go with it. Small little voltage regulator right here. We've got a 7805DT. Um, technically, it's the BA17, uh, BA, yeah, BA17805FP-E2. Um, that's the regulator that I chose. Uh, just a little five volt regulator, um, and then of course we've got our our plug and all of our decoupling caps and all that fun stuff. So that's basically what the schematic looks like. And then now if we go on to the layout, what I did for the layout, oh, there we go, is here. This is the layout that we have. So we've got all of our LEDs. We've got the, uh, let's see if I can do this right. We've got the top layer. This top layer has all of our different top layer connections. This is a two layer board. There's actually two layers worth of uh, copper that's going on. The top layer has just normal traces and whatnot. Then when we get into the bottom layer, it's going to then have the big copper plane that's all across it for the big ground plane, and then all of our various connections. And of course, as you can see, there's where all the chips are. Chips are there, 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 there. So the top board, I wanted to keep the top of it as clean as possible so you could see the Pac-Man traces. And so that's basically what the layout looks like of the, like I said, of the boogie board. And so that's basically the layout. Then now I'm, I have uh, created uh, kind of some sort of a packaging type thing. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I went ahead and modeled it so I can actually see what I'm doing. I went ahead and modeled this. This is an AutoCAD Inventor Boogie. Uh, that's a solid modeling software that we use. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's pretty darn cool. But basically I'm able to put this in here, take it apart, put the screws in, uh, all that stuff, make sure all the clearances, everything's going to fit all right. Because see, as you can see, I've got pretty tight against the board right there. So that those little standoffs should hold this thing more or less in place. That way I don't have to drill any unnecessary holes in the board or whatever because I was wanting to keep it as small as possible but yet not be too small because I didn't want it to be you know some little bitty tiny thing that I want to have enough you know LEDs for the resolution to actually really get the the waka 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 from uh, Mr. Pac-Man here, and since uh, since Pac-Man's your favorite character, or at least you know, yeah, I guess your favorite video game character mostly, I figured that'd be good enough to do just a Pac-Man uh, LED kind of light show for you. So yeah, so that's our that's our board. That's kind of cool. I also have drawings of its um, exploded view, which is kind of neat. I think I think I can actually animate this if I maybe if I hit play here, we can watch it go together. Oh, that's really slow. I may put it together a different way. Well, yeah, it looks alright. So you can see how it actually slides together. So then you slide that part in, and then you put the top on, and then finally you put the screws in. Just like that. So pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So designed it with that, uh, at least the case with, with, uh, with AutoCAD Inventor. That's what it's going to look like. Did not put the little power pack on it. There's going to be a little power pack that will be on it, as well as uh, there'll be you know the little spot to plug it in with. I uh, hope you enjoy it, but that's kind of a, just a 
quick glimpse into into how I uh, how I made it. And there's the actual board layout. Um, this is the actual how it's actually working. Oh, and I could I guess I could go ahead and show you for you and for those that are wondering, uh, I could show you. Go ahead and show you guys show you the software here real quick. Um, this is software controlled. The pick microcontroller, this little thing, it's actually a processor. It's a very small one. It's only 8-bit. So kind of like a good old 8-bit video games. It's amazing. They can make 8-bit 8 8-bit computers on little tiny chips anymore. It's un unreal. Uh, but for those of you that are on my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's one of the little 8-bit uh, MCU series from Microchip. And here we go. And we've got all of this fun stuff. So here's the software, and actually I just noticed something. I could actually take this count out. I've been playing with it and making it preliminary and whatnot, but also working on it. I was going to put, um, I called it bomb, but I was going to put a function in there that made it do some really cool light stuff, but I actually ran out of room. I only have the trial version of the particular compiler that I'm using, so it, I was unable to include these last couple of lines, it just wouldn't compile it for me. I tried all kinds of different ways of reducing code, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You got some functions, which you gave all function definitions and everything for. So you've got the shift function that controls the shift registers, um, some helper functions to that, and off and on where you can put in a specific um, specific deal, uh, specific uh, number of which LED you want to turn on and off, and it'll do it. Um, a clear function that'll clear them all out. Um, here's I, I called this function you'll like it I called it waka waka because that's what that's what Pac-Man does his little chomping thing is waka 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 so anyway so that's what this function does right here um, it's kind of been interesting I have to use long because yeah, because since I have uh, four of those uh, shift registers they're eight bits each so you technically have uh, 32 bit uh, things you have to mess with so those of you uh, that watch my channel normally those of you coders out there remember to always use your uh, keep track of your data types because in this situation I had to switch to longs because in the high-tech C compiler the long is the 32 bit uh, long uh, it can actually store 32 bits it, it yeah stores 32 bits whereas if you used uh, like an unsigned int or something like that you're only getting eight uh, I think integer is 16 um, I can't remember. There's a little sheet that's in the high tech C thing that tells you what all their data types mean. Um, it's pretty standard. It should be ANSI standard, so it should be pretty standard stuff. But basically, you got to watch that because sometimes you'll have it doing weird stuff that you can't explain, and it come to find out you have a basically a, an overrun. Essentially, you're trying to cram 32 bits into a 16 bit number or something, and it's it's truncating on you, and so it's doing weird stuff, and you don't know what it's doing. But the rest of it um, got the I tried to do forward, reverse, right, and that's the one that, uh, well, Boogie, you'll see when you power it up. And then there's one I call it Alt because it alternates. Um, there's another one. There, here's the one that's called Bomb. And, and I tell you what, if, if, if maybe one day I get enough, uh, I get enough money, I'll buy the uh, buy this compiler, or maybe I'll, I'll re, I'll, I'm trying to rework it with a compiler I already own, but it's giving me errors and problems, and I'm having issues trying to get it to work. So. Um, Maybe one day if I get all of it to work and get some more little different features and things that it can do, uh, maybe Boogie, you can either send it back to me or I'll send you another one and I'll, I'll reprogram it with cooler stuff. <laughs> I could have made it field programmable. That would have been cool. And I could have just e you know emailed you a emailed you a hex file. Well, that could be cool. Maybe next time. Maybe next iteration. You know, think up something really cool that that you might want to have, and I just might make it for you. So anyway, um, that's kind of the look into a quick overview of how I made it. I figured you'd get a kick out of it, as well as the rest of my YouTubers uh, that watch me on a regular basis. Um, I wanted to uh, get Boogie in front of you guys, too, just because um, he's, he's a lot of fun guy. He's, he's really funny. Um, I, get a lot of, I get a kick out of a lot of his videos. Plus, he's a very caring, very sweet person. Um, and I just can't say enough good things about the guy over the short period that I've been watching his videos, which I don't know, it hasn't been very short. I've probably been watching you for about a year now, Boogie. But um, just great guy. Great guy, and uh, I think I should definitely say that you guys should check him out. Um, I felt that he was very worthy of, of, of making this kind of like, I guess, I don't know, since it's a circle, maybe it's kind of kind of like a little, like a metal, maybe? Like a metal? I don't know, maybe you could, maybe you could attach a necklace to it or something. That'd <laughs> be squirrely. Anyway, uh, before I ramble too much, I know too late. Um, as always, I always get to rambling at the end of my videos. Um, 
check out Boogie. Uh, Boogie2988, uh, YouTube, Boogie2988. He's also on uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all that stuff. Check him out. Uh, he does a lot of uh, live shows, too. They're fantastic. Uh, funny guy, caring guy, just all around great. And for those of you that watch my channel, I've got some other uh, stuff coming. Uh, it's in the mix. i got to do it. Um, uh, so I'll make it, but we're probably going to take a little bit of a break here for a minute just because I've been kind of, I was going real hard on that, uh, Raspberry Pi stuff, trying to release a video every week. I'm probably going to take a couple weeks off, um, prepare some new stuff for you all. And, uh, this was just kind of one that I'd been kind of doing alongside when I was doing the Raspberry Pi stuff. And I finally got all the parts in to be able to put it together. So I wanted to give you guys a video as well as I wanted, uh, to make a video for, so that Boogie could see how... What goes into all this stuff and it's kind of fun uh, it's not too hard but yet at the same time it's multiple different tools multiple different things anyway like subscribe share questions comments everything um thanks boogie keep doing what you're doing you're an awesome guy and thank you to all my viewers for watching me um take care everybody see ya